hello everyone welcome to my unreal engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game so last time we implemented this crouching feature and we already have some mechanics like uh, running and toggle running and toggle walking and also sprinting so but uh, they are not connected with this crouching because uh, let's say that now I am crouching if I enable running or toggle running with caps lock it starts running but when I stop it it goes back to crouching pose so that's not the way it should happen uh, I wanted it to be like this so if I am crouching and uh, if I enable crouching so it should disable running and if I start or toggle running when crouching it should disable this crouch animation so that when I stop running it should stay like this okay so let's fix these problems before proceeding with our game all right so first thing is so these are my this is my toggle run method and this is my toggle sprint method it happens when I press the shift key it starts sprinting and when I release the shift key it stops sprinting and go back to normal running and this is jumping and this is uh, crouching so all right so also we have one small problem I want to fix first so when I press crouch this character moves too fast blend too fast between these poses so like this so we can fix it here if I open this relevant blueprint animation and in the anim graph this is the blend this is where the post blending happens so I'll here we have true blend time and false blend time so I'll set something like 0.5 here and let's see we should have some smooth transition now see okay so when I run in it should happen like this so the change is not abrupt as before this is better than sudden changes okay so that's fixed and the next thing is fixing this connection between running, sprinting and crouching. <laughs> okay. So now we have we can access this uh, running and crouching and sprinting only from input action. But if we are going to assign a uh, AI character to controller AI controller to control this character then we can't access or we can't enable running or sprinting with this input action methods so therefore we need to have some other methods or events to toggle this running and sprinting to define that either I could do it like this Add a custom event toggle run toggle run like this and we can do the same thing here but when I do it with a custom event like this and when I have to access this method then I'm gonna have to have a 
concrete reference to this character human class so that wherever I call this method I have to cast whatever the character I am handling into ch human and then only we can access this toggle run class this that is not a good way to do that there is a better way so this is how I prefer to do that using interfaces we already have this BPI character interface and here we have defined these footsteps I'll define another first I'll assign this to a category called movement and I'll add three more functions like this mm, toggle run and I need a input for this one as well to enable and disable <coughs> and toggle print and why is it showing an error toggle print okay and I'll name this as enable and what else do we have toggle crouch crouch okay enable enable all right now I'll put these methods into moment category as well all right so now that we have defined this interface method so that we can access whatever the concrete implementation of these methods with the interface reference so that we do not have necessary to have a, it's not necessary to have a concrete reference to this ch human class so this is how we implement that function I just defined in the BPI character interface toggle run this one so as you can see it is from this BPI character interface and now so here what happens is I am I am giving the not of the current running value into this one so I'm gonna have to reuse this part to toggle run as well so therefore I'll collapse this into a macro toggle run M I'll call it like that and I'll duplicate that one the reason to do this to uh, collapse this to a macro and duplicate so that I wouldn't have to rewrite the same piece of code here uh, and so that I only have to pass this input which is a clean way to do that okay now I have this toggle run and let's fix the toggle sprint as well like this and I think I have to make this a little longer okay and I need a branch if I have to enable this use this path disable this use this path okay and for jumping actually I don't need this jump in here but I'll implement that as well no sorry 
jump that is also come under movement right jump and I can just call the same code here okay and crouching so for crouching also I have defined an interface method toggle crouch and here I can do the same thing as I did in toggle run collapse this to a macro I call it crouch m why is there an I and duplicate this one and call the same thing like this okay so now I don't need this much of a space so I'll reduce it all right so yeah now we have this toggle run event and toggle sprint event and jump event and I don't think we have to call this on landed event from outside this class or this character blueprint so therefore I wouldn't make an interface method and implement it here okay so now inside this toggle crouch I'm gonna do something like this so here when if I am enabling this crouching that means if I am taking this path first I will disable running like this so if I am running I'll stop running first before going into crouch and also here well here actually I don't have to do anything if I am disabling crouching all I have to do is disable crouching and the character will stand up and go into walk okay and also in here if I am here if I start running or toggle running so if I am already crouching I should uncrouch so here I'll call toggle crouch with a false okay and and here in sprinting so if I sprint that mean I should start running afterward so therefore instead of setting this running variable here I'll toggle run with the true here like this so let's see if everything works correctly okay by default the character runs and when I say crouch it started crouching and if I enable or toggle running again okay starts running and when I stop or oh, my movement button it stops the character but it does not go back to crouching as it did before and if I start sprinting it start to sprint 
and when I press crouch while it's printing it is like this and if I uncrouch it it is like this okay so yeah that's that fixed all the problems and also yeah I think that's enough for this episode and in the next episode let's work on melee combat okay see you in the next video goodbye